I picked up this pretty ratty swage. Now it's a mess from this side. But from this side, it's even worse. You can see the casting was really poorly done. There's hollows here, here. This one seems to go pretty deep. Anyway, I got this one because I've been looking for a while and I haven't been able to find one low. So this was my best shot. Now I'm gonna make a stand. Now it's 16 inches on this side. On this side, it's closer to 16 and a... Here it seems to be 11 and 3 quarters. Here it's 12 and a half. And here 12 and a quarter. Obviously the swage block was not made to the highest tolerance. But I'm strictly going to use it for drifting tool. And for that it should suffice. Now to use this I have to make a stand. For Packed it all together, squared it. Now I'm gonna weld it out everywhere. I'll get back to you guys once that's done. So I've got it all welded up. I'm now just gonna paint it. So that's it, that's the swage block. As you can see, I just went ahead and uh, polished the um, the top of this. The other side is too far gone, like it was cast that way. It was pretty much useless the way it was uh, cast. Uh, but I've polished this face, so there it is. And I've got a swage block, finally.